One of the largest scandals in sports history has arrived at Penn State. On November 5th, former Penn State assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky was arrested for seven counts of involuntary deviant sexual intercourse, eight counts of corruption of minors, eight counts of endangering the welfare of a child, seven counts of indecent assault, as well as other offenses. He was released on $100,000 bail after reportedly abusing eight boys over a 15-year period. The drama continued when it was reported that athletic director Tim Curley and senior vice president for finance and business Gary Schultz were charged for not alerting police about complaints against Sandusky. Curley and Schultz both stepped down from their position shortly after. The university's board of trustees fired football head coach Joe Paterno and president Graham Spanner late Wednesday night because of the possibility that they covered up the whole situation. Paterno had been the head coach of the team since 1966 and led the Nittany Lions to two national championships. His 409 career wins as a coach is the most ever in Division I football history. After the news broke that Paterno and Spanner were removed, students from the university rioted in the streets and tipped over a news van. Defensive coordinator Tom Bradley has been promoted to be the interim head coach, and Rodney Erickson will serve as the interim school president. The United States Department of Education will further investigate the case in the near future.